Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday to everybody. Today, tuning in, Samantha, say hello to the people. Good morning. It's crap weather here. Crap. Freaking cold, gray. We even had snow showers, dude. Mm -hmm. It is the middle, almost the middle of freaking April. Mm -hmm. Give me a break. Look, this time last year, we had the kids in shorts and tank tops, man. This weather sucks. I seen Fat Apples on Twitter talking about she's going to take her kids to the pool today. <sighs> Can't even imagine what that life is like. Well, Cannot. sometimes it snows in April, right, guys? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Hello, ye, Kimothy, Mia Moore, basketball chick, RB, living, laughing, crafting, Candace, Rebecca, Walmart scooter bees. Apocalyptic hellfire. That is a mouthful. <laughs> I'm engaged. Got him. Ooh, oh, congratulations Congratulations. To you. Sarah, God's gift. She-Ra, she thank you so much for that artwork. I'm going to have to grab that and share it on the stream later today. Mm -hmm. If you please mm -hmm. remind me about that. Mm -hmm. Rach Marie, hello. Good to see you. Uh, hey, Rach Marie. Megan, Effie, Jamie, Francis, Gina, Health Warrior. Is that our cats whining? I've had enough of our cats. Well, no, it ain't cats. It's cat. My gosh. It's Max. Yes. So the other cats are being angels. <clears throat> Wendy. Uh, Jules, Baby Rocks, Donna, Zoo Flute, Catherine, Paw Daddy, Rachel, Megan, Birdie, Titney, Kitty Cat, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Contel Marie, I see you. Mm -hmm. uh, Felicia, thank you so much for being a member. I can't remember your milestone, but we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. uh, Silva said so. Hello, Yabba and Sam. Thank you for the weekend stream. Silva, thank you for being a member for eight months. We appreciate you. Sure do. Who do you think Also, you there are. was somebody who sent a super chat at the beginning of the stream. Uncut Gems, Nancy P. I've been missing your lives lately, Yava and Sam, but love you so much. Have a great weekend, everyone. So glad you're here. Yes. I hope everybody is uh, going to have a good weekend this weekend. Hello, Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine. Can you tell what Our Lady's uh, new avatar is? I'm going to do a cabbage pet, a cabbage pale kid card for you and sham too obviously yours will be far cuter cannot wait i better be the hillbilly chipmunk okay i'm just saying i can't tell is, is that gene i think so do you hear him yeah. he Girl. is showing his whole ass dude we are uh you hoping switched his food out right yeah i switched his food out i don't know what his problem is max max you guys is a spoiled rotten ass brat I don't know if it's because the kids ain't here or what, but God, Jesus Lord, He tortured man. us all night. He did. <laughs> Made me get about 4 o'clock in the morning put kibble in his bowl. Yeah, and then she, yeah, so we left <laughs> the door open. So the kids are not here. They're they're spending the weekend with the other family members or whatever. No, we didn't leave the door open. We started with the door closed, and he we, literally sat out the door crying. And howled. No, he howled. Howled, like yeah. Like, oh, God. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how he does, right? Mm -hmm. So Sam went and opened up the door so he could, you know, not be scared or whatever his problem is. She opens up the door. He he doesn't just lay with us in bed. Like, he, he is just a fucking weirdo, dude. He lays on top of us. Mm -hmm. So she ends up kicking him out or something like that. I can't even remember what happened, but he ended up coming back in the room and jumped from the floor. Get your airdrop, babe. There you I go. am. From the floor to on top of samantha while she was sleeping it was like great. literally landed in the middle of my gut and mind you he's like 30 pounds he's not 30 pounds he's okay huge he might be about 20 i'll give him that but um so anyway she gets up i was like dude i think he's his kibble bowl might be empty maybe that's what it is because you know <laughs> my kids make sure before they go to bed they'll fill up his little kibble bowl or whatever so she goes in there and she fills no his my first response was i don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah and i was like sam he's hungry <laughs> So she gets up and she goes, fills his kibble bowl, right? But remember how we told y'all there was the two, the Rachel Ray, the salmon flavored, and I got the new salmon flavored, which mm -hmm. he hadn't tried and he wouldn't eat, so we had to get the, uh, what was the chicken kind? I guess. Well, she ends up giving him the damn kind that he don't like. So I, I sure wake up did. this morning and no wonder the cat was still unhappy because <laughs> she gave him the wrong kind of cat food. You know, it was crazy, though, with that, <clears throat> the salmon kind, that's the kind that Devin fed Marshall. That's what our old cat Marshall ate yeah. with the green bag, so... No, the green bag is what he likes. It's the blue bag is what he don't like. I gave him the green bag that was up top. That's the blue bag. You're colorblind. Sam, they're all, they're both green, but they're the outline and the text is what's oh. different. Well, well, a lighter well. green and then a blue color. Hush your mouth. <laughs> Time to get a fourth cat, maybe a fifth. <laughs> Uncut gems, Nancy P. You know what? You know how like sometimes you get that bad kid 
Like, you'll have a few kids, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'd love to have, like, five or six kids. And then you end up with, like, a really, like, um, difficult baby or yeah, hard kid. You know, you know what? One. I'm going to just go ahead and stop here. That's kind of what, like, Max is our, you yeah. know, our handful. But we didn't. So we're going to cut it off there. Well, yeah, we didn't, but, you know, that's it. No more cats. <laughs> Anyways, let he me He is a sweet over. boy, though. He is a good boy. He is not a bad boy. He just is rotten. Uh-oh, Cat's Rule just got here. She missed me <laughs> shit-talking the cat. Thank God. <laughs> hey, Cat's Rule. Good to see you. Look at this lovely drawing done by our wonderful mod, she I was just talking about this the other day, how we needed a Garbage Pail Kids card for the one and only Chantel Foodie Beauty. Mm-hmm. You ask, and they will deliver. Mm-hmm. And she delivered. Would you look at that? Is that not a work of mm-hmm. art? It is, isn't mm-hmm. it? It's beautiful. Thank you so much, She wrote. We love it, and we will cherish it. I'm going to print it and add it to my collection. I keep all my drawings of Foodie <gasps> Beauty. We got to go to the P.O. Box today. Okay, like we'll do me. that. It's so cold, I didn't want to leave the house. Tomorrow's going to warm up. I'm hoping today is going to be the last day of the cold weather, and maybe we can move on to spring and summer. If not, I'm, I'm packing, and I'm moving. And we're either going west or south south i don't want to go west i don't want to go to freaking florida i mean florida Nobody's is not even had to be florida don't you even see those memes where they cut florida off florida's full of weirdos man no that's thanks where i grew up no offense <laughs> it is i was beautiful. raised in florida what do you that answers about? a lot of questions oh. hey Lindsay, good to see you this morning <laughs> Lindsay's not even in the chat i feel like we should discuss a little bit <laughs> speaking of flobby bobby we should discuss a little bit of uh, Chantel before we get into uh, old Mr. Jean's video. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Jean, you are in for it this morning. <laughs> Buckle up, baby. <laughs> so, look, we I think we all were on the same page when we were sitting around waiting to see what happened with Chantel yesterday mm-hmm. after she got caught red-handed. Red-handed. At the Motel 6. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Chantel. The Iron <laughs> Uh, Rach Marie says Texas. Texas is a little bit too. No, uh, no. I've yeah. been there, done that. Yeah. Texas, I'll <laughs> never step foot in the state of Texas ever again. Never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's going backwards there, Rach mm. Marie. <laughs> no thanks. No offense to the Texans here, okay? I don't know. I, look, I'm just going to go ahead and go down and move to Kentucky. Okay, just go across the bridge. Kentucky go back home. is beautiful. It yeah. is. But I'd really like to uh, live by the ocean again. My vote's North Carolina. No fucks given. North Carolina, huh? I love North hmm. Carolina. I don't know. Anyways, uh, back to anyway, Chantel. <laughs> Chantel. So we waited it and we waited. it. I remember we were laying in bed because we went to bed early last night. We did. We laid we it down. We went to bed so early. Dude, we laid it down at like what eight? Th- it was still daylight. <laughs> it was. And we were laying in bed looking at our phones, tired because we didn't take a nap yesterday. We held out. We tried. No. <laughs> we sound pathetic. We tried to take a nap twice. And I was like, no. Both no. times she gets in the bed. She tells me to come get in the bed with her for nap time. We get to bed for nap time, and literally five minutes later, she's like, not tired. She pops up. I'm like, wow. Well, there goes that. Twice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had a dinner planned. We were going to make, uh, try something new for yeah. dinner. Yeah, that, that didn't, didn't happen. happen. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just we shut your mouth. yesterday. <laughs> Just put it that way. So, anyways, we were all waiting for Chantel or the other dreaded one to go live and to see what, you know, they were going to do. They were going to deflect what they were going to say about Mm -hmm. getting caught in the the hotel room. So, Chantel posts on her community tab that she was going to go karaoke Karaoke. bees later tonight, guys. Woohoo! That's what you had to say. That was your response to that. Okay, Chantel. Love that for you, girl. But... The Nodder, mm-hmm. the Nodder. I feel like we should just call him the Nodder. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You like that better? Yes. I kind of like that too. So the Nodder went live, and I don't know. Like I know you know they all had a discussion, right, about what they were, how they were gonna, you know, address this mess or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So, Dee Dee, stick to your day job. You suck. Yeah. I felt like Nodder was going to try to play it cocky like Chantel, but see, it didn't work like that for Nodder because you could tell he truly was bothered. So he, ended up, he ends up going live first, mm-hmm. right? And so he's live. Dee Dee, and here's what I think. Dee Dee's in the background. It was so funny to me. I don't think you thought it was. Do you think that she was being, like, sincere, that she was getting ready to go out for her birthday weekend? I think she's super mad about Nodder and Chantel. Yeah, I think she's super mad about Nodder and Chantel. I don't think she was going out on the town with no goddamn buddy. 
The way she kept saying it. Sorry, guys. I'm over here getting ready. Sorry, guys. Getting ready. She Can't wanted, read the chat, guys. Getting ready. Yeah, she was trying to make Nodder jealous. Hold on. Our Lady Chantel of Perpetual Poutine says, Sam is a woman of certain age. She needs her rest. I agree, Our Lady Chantel. Mm-hmm. Who do you think you Speaking are? Speaking of age. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're funny. She used, to put, she used to put me down for a nap every day. But anyways, Dee Dee kept saying it in the background. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm going out for my birthday, guys. It's a girls only night. You know, Nodder's looking over and he, he asked her at one time, goes, what time will you be back? And I don't know if she answered or whatever. I think it was real. I think she was really trying to get ready. I think she set, set up something to make Nodder jealous because she's pissed off because Nodder went and stayed at this hotel with Chantel. So she was going to show him. Or it could have been all a setup. Who knows what these weird The whole thing was so pathetic, though. Just... Sorry, guys, I'm just out of the shower, just getting ready to go. No, first of all, Dee, Dee nobody cares. Yeah, she kept saying it over and over yeah. and over and over. Mm-hmm. We don't care. Yeah, she really thinks that she's important. She wanted to let the people know the reason she wasn't reading chat and doing her job is because she was going out on a night on the town because it's her birthday weekend. Woo-hoo, Dee, Dee. Mm-mm-mm. I thought it was hilarious when uh, he turned, the chat started out public. Open. Started out public, got a bunch of tomatoes in mm-hmm. the chat. It was not <clears> going the way that he thought it would. He yep. came on, there was some... Cockamamie crazy, ass. She crazy. had a room in the same hotel as me. <laughs> yeah, she said he said that, and then he tried to say that um, some hater got a room in Chantel's name, and yeah, he, he, that wasn't his room number that he was in. Completely denied it. Why would I lie? Way. I don't lie. Okay, well, not. Why her. would I lie? There's nothing to lie about. You just wait <clears> two <throat> months, and you'll see. You'll see the reason. Blah blah blah. Shut up about your two mm. months. We've been here done that you know how many people have said that just give me three months that sounds like about fucking hot plate plate getting her channel back just give me (laughs) give me a few months guys you'll see you'll see and they always talk about those lawsuits give me give me three months and you'll see Mm -hmm. so full of shit so then he went from public hey hannah to members members only and the chat came to a screeching halt what do you what do you got on the soundboard for that uh, I don't think anything. Oh, you need to put that screeching Denied. sound on there. <laughs> <laughs> Got that. Complete halt. Was not moving. So he takes it off of members, makes it public again, and people start getting him, giving him a whole lot more shit, mm-hmm. you know? Even his members were giving him shit. Mm-hmm. So he eventually just, like, after how many, how long was he on? Not very long. Like, less than an hour, I think. Oh, dude, less than 30 minutes. It was less mm-hmm. than 30 minutes, mm-hmm. and he cut out, I think. He's well, a cockroach. we were there for the whole thing, so that says a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've got stuff going on behind the scenes. Don't believe people when they say mm. those kind of things. Right there, that right there lets you know that they're bullshitting you. Mm. Mm-hmm. You have to have a credit card for a room, liar, exactly, cook. And then it wasn't much longer after Nodder went live that Chantel went live, right? Yeah. Oh boy, she was just literally, literally out of her mind. What do you think? Hard drugs or back on the edibles? What says you? She's back on the edibles. I'd say she's possibly doing the, uh, somebody, I, somebody was speculating that she was doing, um. The coca. No, not coke. Mm. Molly. I oh. could totally see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It totally fit her personality, the way she was acting yesterday. See, I didn't look at her. I was just listening. I had my, you know, I was laying down mm-hmm. with my eyes closed and I could just hear a little bit. Mm-hmm. But no, I could see that. Hey, Bunny. Glad you could make it. Hello, Jessica. I saw that Nodder and Chantel's live were the same length. Yeah, they went on for about the same really? amount of time. Mm-hmm. She claims she's got the old... Uh, she claims she's got the COVID. That she took a COVID test and she was positive. So her and Pete's are going to have to quarantine for the next two days. Next couple of days. Pete's took a test on live stream and it was negative. I saw on Twitter this morning. I didn't see the actual screenshot or nothing. But I seen someone on Twitter say that... She held up the test and only the control line. Yeah, people are. Yeah, that was Murphy's. Murphy Smith. Murphy, yeah. Yeah, tweet. Mm-hmm. Kiwi Farms is having a tea spilling session with the former mods of Nodders. Yeah, I was watching some of that too last night. I didn't get to gather enough on it to talk about it today, but uh, I'll definitely, we'll probably cover it Monday. <laughs> I've, Christina the Latina Pandu says, Joe Kane. <laughs> dear God. She lied. I don't think she has it. I don't think she has the uh, COVID neither. So the super spreader says exact MC. same length down to the second. Wow. Really? No way. Seriously? Look, because they're still up. And conveniently did not show us her test. Mm-hmm. It's all a scam. But what is it that they're trying to scam? They're just trying to cook up more views, you think? 
Just deflection because it was obvious she was with not back with Nodder. So, oh, look at me. I got COVID. Mm -hmm. Well, Nodder is still uh, denying that he ever uh, was in your presence, Chantel, while you're just sitting there high off your ass, head over heels in love with your man that still won't claim you and never will, girl. Mm -hmm. Even when those uh, restraining orders or whatever expire, it's going to be the same O, same O for you, Chantel. What I seen was crazy as fuck with the X mod. So what's going on with the X mod, Sarah? I don't know. Can anybody summarize? In a, I think she's lying about COVID for sympathy. Chantel deleted the live from night last night. So she only went live that one time, right? Then I seen it all. She just acted really stupid and talked about the COVID test. She doesn't want to face her chat. I noticed that she stayed looking at Pete's most of the time. She did not want to make eye contact with the chat. Yes, 100%. Yeah, you did notice that. Mm -hmm. She's covering up her post-nasal drip by claiming she's sick. That's all. Mm. Oh, okay. She's yeah. going to disappear to, quote-unquote, recover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anytime she gets heat for her behavior, she comes out with a health scare. True, true. Mm-hmm. X mod brought nothing new to the table. That's I didn't see anything really worth um, talking about, but I didn't get to watch everything. Mm. You don't think the restraining order is true? Yeah, at this point, I don't think I do either. I don't know. Just me personally, I don't care if you're an X mod or not. I don't like that uh, having like contact with contact with cows and then you know bringing it public type shit. I'm just not down with that. Like, if you're going to get in the pasture with a cow, I don't want to hear about it. I guess I didn't say that right. No. I mean, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I, oh yeah, I'm an ex-mod. Look at me. Look at me. Look what I have. Here's my, you know, here's my, our private conversations. The get ex, out of here. The ex-mod is basically saying the DD and Nods took a lot of singular calls with mods selling his story. But we already knew that. I mean, hell, uh, Nodder was all about that life when it was just him and Chantel before DD even came in the picture. Yeah. Like Chantel was always telling us she's he's constantly on um messenger and FaceTime calls with people in his uh group or whatever. Yeah. Hello, Jelly Bean. And then to go to the farms with it though. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's whatever. That's not to be trusted either. There's a there's a difference between like a spa and somebody who was actually supporting their behavior, mm -hmm. you know, and they just decided for whatever reason they did something to piss them off, you know, after they've done all these shitty things and now you want to come. There's mm -hmm. a difference, you know. If you want to be a spy, be a spy, okay? But supporting them and then flipping is a completely different story, in my opinion. Agreed. About having a restraining order to have an excuse not to claim her. That's not how it works, though. Like, you're going to know if you're... Like, you can't just say, hey, I got a restraining order on me now. Like, you're going to be notified that you have a restraining order against somebody. Right, Sam? Like, you're going to know that. Yeah. They're not going to just issue a, a restraining order without telling the victim that there's a restraining order, right? No, the victim is absolutely notified. Yeah. I mean, and even in Canada, I think it's going to be the same way. Yeah. They, like, there's even instructions, like, you're supposed to carry, like, a copy in your car, a copy in your purse, keep, mm -hmm. like, if you, at work, like, you're supposed to keep it places, stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. They also make a point of letting you know that it goes both ways, so that it's not just, uh, A 74-year-old mod said she was having a breakdown thinking about Nodder being in jail, him and Dee Dee's prank. Oh, my God. Give me a fucking Unreal. Break, I mean, at 74 years old, you should know better. You act like somebody, not you, Dubs TV, but, I mean, just because somebody is 74 years old, they do not have dementia. You know, that doesn't mean, like, they're not in their right state of mind and they can't, They like, they know enough to bring themselves on YouTube. Like, why in the world are you putting yourself in a position like that? I mean, I don't know. That's just, I don't know. Uh, the truthfully Trisha syndrome for sure. Who said that? Bunny. <laughs> Who else? Do we know if there's initial arrest? Absolutely not. Mm -mm -mm. We just got to wait and see what goes down this weekend, guys. And we'll, we will get back together Monday. Well, and somebody else made a good point, too, that restraining orders and no contact orders are not issued by police, even in Canada, that they have to be ordered and signed by a judge or a magistrate or whatever they call them up there. Mm -hmm. No, I think they call it the crown. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Ain't that cool, the crown? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying it's different. Mm -hmm. Stop being gullible. I mean, yeah, come on, dude. No excuse there. The 70-year-old, 74-year-old is giving him weekly shopping money. 
Ugh, Jesus so Christ. gross, dude. Mm-mm-mm. Knock that shit off. Yeah, I get, just because they're 74 years old really doesn't matter. I'm sure if they were probably 47 year old, 47 year olds, they would have been doing the same behavior, giving them money and shit, being gullible, whatever. I don't know. Like, knock it off. Is too old to be doing this and too young to be believing these people? Agreed. All right, let's get into the uh, uh, life by Jen. Gene defending his woman, telling his side of the story on what happened. And um, I have a feeling I'm going to get real fucking triggered on this one. <laughs> lost in the system. Too fat, lost in the system, whatever you want to call it. Let's hear what he has to say about the, the crayon. The crayon. <laughs> the whole ordeal. Jennifer going into the hospital. They wouldn't they get her up. Get. They wouldn't even sit her up. It has been extremely frustrating. Um, I remember when she was not feeling well there for a while. And that was very concerning because it didn't. That is the beginning. That's how the video starts mm-hmm. off. Not sure why it starts off like that, but I'm going to take it back. Should I? Let me let me put it on normal speed for right now and then we'll uh, speed him up. How long I, is the video? 23 minutes. Totally fine. Yeah. We're here for you today, Gene. We've got the time. We've made time, Gene. I'm going to tell my side of my experiences with Jennifer going into the hospital. They wouldn't get her up. They wouldn't even sit her up. It has been extremely frustrating. Um, I remember when she was not feeling well there for a while. And that was very concerning because I didn't really know whether it was, you know, I always think the worst, like cancer or what. Like, okay, cancer. And hold on, pause. God pause. forbid you go pause there, um, Gene. So he was saying there was a time where she wasn't doing very well, and you know, he always thinks the worst. So, you know, the things that come to mind, like, uh, you know, like cancer. Are you telling me that you don't think that her being what 700 plus pounds is enough to get her killed? Why do you need to jump to conclusions like cancer? So they just, they just think that Jen is what just fat. And she's not going to die from that. Do you not know that being that big, that, that can explode her heart? All these conditions and the reason that she's in the hospital is because of her weight. And you're going to sit there and wonder, oh, she's not doing very well. I wonder if she's got cancer. No, the bitch is 700 plus pounds, uh, Jean. That's what's going to take her out. Let me tap that back. Just, just a tad. Let me take it back just a little bit. Well, also, I'd like to point out and let us keep in mind throughout this whole video that while they didn't upload a whole lot during this months long ordeal, they did upload some videos and there was no mention of any of this. Yeah, when you while it was happening. We were talking about this yesterday. When mm-hmm. you make your complaint in real time. Mm-hmm. Like obviously Jean spent a lot of time at the hospital with Jen. Uh Jen was filming food mm-hmm. and, you know, take she had, so she obviously had her phone. Mm-hmm. So why was it when Jen was in the hospital were they not complaining then? Why are they waiting until Jen's home to start making these complaints? Mm-hmm. That is a very, very, very good question. Because if it was like a normal person and they were already, you know, taking it to the internet or whatever, you're going to do it in real time. You're mm-hmm. not going to wait till you get home and then talk about all this mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. You're going to fire up a fucking video right there and be like, this is what's going on. Mm-hmm. This is what's happening. She's been here for three months and they won't get her PT's up out of bed. Not coming through. Right, they, right. They won't let her set mm-hmm. up. They they would be showing pictures of Jen in bed looking all horrible and, mm-hmm. you know, about to just wither away. That's not what happened. Mm-hmm. That's not what happened. Also, they're saying that um, supposedly they've already said in the past that she has some sort of cancer, ovarian cancer or something. She, she has in the past, yeah. Mm-hmm very concerning because I didn't really know whether it was, you know, I always think the worst, like cancer or what, like, okay, cancer. And God forbid you Google anything. Yes, yes. Missy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the washing machine. Uh, it's Saturday morning. You're going to know that you're going to have to go to the ER now. However, so we waited day after day. Week, week after week hoping that her symptoms would let up and it just it continued the pain continued other symptoms were continuing uh, so um, it helps not to look in the camera 
and me think about like looking off into my thoughts. So sorry if I'm not looking into the camera. Helps me think better. Means I don't have a teleprompter. You could have However, edited that um, out. So that went on for a while. Finally, she said, hey, go ahead and call. So um, I called. Did not know that that was going to last. Um, that 911 call was going to last. Um, seven months of anguish in, in its many different forms. Glad, though, that was a good thing. Because uh, she was septic uh, with, uh, with a bad infection. And so, uh, so that, that really was a blessing. Uh, we she got a <laughs> they came a back up. Jean, have a drink and sit down. You're rocking like a fiend. Mm. Agreed, MC. Thank you for the super chat. Pretty quick. I I don't really know what to say. I guess my highlights of some of the frustrations and stuff of going through all of this. So she she was admitted, and Thank then you, Devs TV. I was like, all right, this is only going to be like three days. Three days to a week, maybe. You know, get cleared up, send you home with some... Who told him that? Who told him that the shoes only going to be there three days to a week? Is, she, mm. is he saying the hospital told him that? They wouldn't tell him that. They don't know. He's reading off notes, says Lindsay with an A. And look, yeah, you, know, you can tell. He's reading. Look at him. Mm -hmm. And you know Jen's in the bed back there listening to every word. I haven't watched this. I watched like the first couple of seconds and turned it off. Yeah. I wonder if you hear her hollering from... The beyond. He probably edits it out. I bet he went to like the dollar store and got one of those poster boards and wrote like his script out on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Antibiotics, whatever. And then, but one thing kept going into another thing, kept going into another thing. The next, the, the first other thing was after three days, that's when she realized she could not get out of bed. She could not get up. She cannot even sit up. Well, her body was very weak, <clears throat> and uh, and I'm sure a lot of it had to do with not only weight but just being septic. So there there was a lot going against her there, and then PT started, and then more symptoms persisted, like her consciousness would fade out, and she had really low blood pressure, and I mean. So basically, the bitch was on her way out. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. If I and instead of them thinking this facility that they were in, and you know, being glad that Jen made it out alive and did not die after all that, being septic, mm -hmm. having COVID, mm -hmm. what else? It sounds like she got excellent medical care that brought her back from the brink of death. Exactly. Frenchy Mama says, yeah, but I think he's trying to remember to use key words, like for a lawsuit. Mm. Yeah, I think so, too. I think they're definitely, definitely going for a lawsuit here. I had my notes. I could go over, like, a myriad. Well, you got notes. Why is it, if you went to the hospital and you had to stay at the hospital, I wouldn't think to bring a notebook and take notes of everything that went mm -mm. on. For what? Mm -mm. What do you need notes for, Jean? What you need is a job. Well, also, don't forget, for everybody in the chat who may not know this, Jen already successfully um, sued an ambulance yes. company yep. and got a big settlement. Mm -hmm. So, yep. just keep that in the back of your heads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're really proud of themselves Yeah, for all this. Yeah, They're proud that they got that nurse that uh, talked bad about Jen in front of another patient or another mm -hmm. worker or whatever, got her... In their uh, words, cha ching, cha ching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Symptoms and things hey, and Dixie. happenings and questions to ask the doctor. I was constantly trying to keep track of every little detail about what she was going through so that I could intelligently speak to the doctor, ask the doctor questions or the nurse questions to relate to the doctor. Um, Let's see the notes. Or change. just to keep track of so that we know kind of. The, the fuller picture what's going on so so then th they can hand the baton over to the next nurse and the next shift well um because yeah this is a so, lot of bumbling i don't believe that yeah. i want to see the notes show us the too. notes 
It's not making any sense here, Gene. Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden, Boom. he was a stellar, uh, yeah, you know, partner and caregiver and advocate I for that, Jen. I thought there was a time while Jen was in the hospital that her and Gene broke up, mm-hmm. and he wasn't like. That's what she said in the first video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they broke up. Like broke mm-hmm. up, broke up. Hmm. Why did they break up? Infidelity. I Probably. think he was talk got caught talking to other women. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me this time that Jean was uh, cheating on Jen and wasn't didn't give a fuck if she was gonna live or die. And she, he was with other women. He had all this time to make all these notes and give a fuck about what was going on for Jen and her next shift of doctors. I'm calling bullshit there, mm-hmm. Jean. Mm-hmm. Jen's gonna be rolled into the court and give her saddest, skinniest baby voice she can to pull off that to that judge. <laughs> that that was pretty stressful and there are times that during those first couple of weeks three weeks that's where a lot of these symptoms were that i'm speaking of these experiences it was very stressful i thought i was going to lose my woman i <laughs> i did not know i'm sorry <laughs> play it again please please <laughs> let's take it back shall we thank you baby let's take him back now gene Tap, tap. There we go. <laughs> Should we do slow-mo? <laughs> God, yes. Yeah, slow-mo for Gene. Let me see here. There we go. I always take During notes on my near-death experiences. couple of weeks, <laughs> three weeks, that's where a lot of these symptoms were that I'm speaking of, these experiences. It was very stressful. I thought I was going to lose my woman. <laughs> he thought he was going to lose his woman, I Sam. Think, I think uh, that needs to be on the soundboard. <laughs> thought I was going to lose my woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You know. But, yeah, somebody said that uh, he did leave her for another woman and that Jen made a TikTok calling the woman a whore. Oh, so he actually got a whole a whole woman? Mm-hmm. Like he was in a relationship? I got, or he well, he was definitely sticking his dick where it didn't belong. Who has said TikTok? Please let us know. Put a one in the chat if you have the TikTok. Be watching the chat. What's her please. TikTok name? I don't know, but you know it's been dirty deleted. <clears throat> you know, I went to follow her on Instagram today on my um on my Instagram. <laughs> she has me blocked. What? I had to log into my person dig up my personal Instagram, which I ain't used in years, just to go stalk her Instagram. Yeah, this was on it. Here, I forgot. Hold on. Where is it at? There's a little video they're posting. Now they've got uh, Jenna. There's a little video. This is a video. A screenshot from the video, right? Uh, this girl is mobile again. I'm so excited. My physical and occupational therapist goal was to have me independently transferring, transferring <laughs> from bed to wheelchair in 14 days. I did it in seven. On top of that, seeing... All the room I have in the wheelchair. So she's claiming that she's so skinny that she doesn't even need this double-sized wheelchair. Since I've lost weight, it's so amazing. Before, I had to move my stomach to the side to see the control panel of my wheelchair. And now there's room plus to see without moving. Today, April 7th, 2022, is the first time since August 2021 that I've taken steps and sat somewhere other than my bed. Wow, hold on. Sardines after a storm says Jen said it was someone in real life because people kept telling Jean to block the woman. Mm. And yes, excellent observation, MC. Since when did uh, Jen start wearing these caps? Well, I think since her hair started to fall out and she's seen Foodie Beauty wearing them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Double wide. He's bumbling at the camera and script. Imagine. In mm-hmm. on the stand, can't be drunk or with a vodka in hand. <laughs> Can we pay to view this court case? No shit, man. And now they're going to make it. Here's what their goal, or here's what their plan is, right? Is that they're going to make it like, oh, I got to go home. We finally got released from the hospital. And my man, Gene, got me where I needed to be in the mm-hmm. hospital. Couldn't even do that. That's what I think they're going for with yeah, this approach. Yeah, but I thought Gene was there every day with you in the hospital. So You know what, what I'm thinking? About? Jen, since you're already up out of bed and you wouldn't do it at the hospital, I'm thinking you were able to get up out of bed this whole time mm-hmm. and you just wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You refused, refused to work their program, mm-hmm. right? Sympathy cap. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to Gene. I, I did not know. I was praying fervently and... 
of course, um, asking others to pray and lift her up. It, it was it was very heartbreaking to see. God ain't even lifting that bitch up. <laughs> go through all this and not not knowing exactly what was going to happen and just trying to prepare myself <laughs> at some level at least it's not past any kind of denial because there's always a denial. Like, oh, uh, this won't happen. I have faith. God's not going to let it happen. Uh, we're going to carry on. I had to look past that denial a little bit and see, think this actually could happen and what, how am I going to handle it? And that was very tough. Hey, like, Kelly. I don't think I would be able to handle it very well. Um, just like well, the next person, I can imagine how, what people have gone through who've lost their, their loved one, their mate, um, their, Hey, was, you um, were lining up wife, the next woman. What are you talking about? Fuck off. But <clears throat> anyways, um, so, and then PT kicked in, she was starting to make progress. I was like, all right, high hopes. Good. And then pain started kicking in again, so then she couldn't get up, and it was one thing or another. One thing led was against another. And in the medical field, if damn if you do, damn if you don't, if you do this, then you're not going to be able to do this. But if, but but if you don't do this, then this here is going to be even more of an issue. So then it's like a dance of these opposites. Uh, that was much word uh, you know. salad. Yeah, yeah, we, we're used to this word salad mm -hmm. bullshit. Okay, you're not getting a fast one over on us, Jean. Whether it's medication, that's the main thing I guess I'm speaking of. Medication symptoms and such, especially if someone has more than just one problem. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to call it now, okay? I'm, I'm just going to say it the way I feel it. If you have a couple, right, and they're in a relationship, it's, it's a thing. You can see, like, a bigger person, an obese person with somebody who's in shape. Like, that's totally a thing, right? But when you see somebody, like, with gene size and then you see somebody with that – and he's with life by Jen in her mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. He's enabling her. Like, the, the, you don't love her. You don't care about her. You don't want her to live. If you did, you wouldn't let. She can't even get out of bed to make her own food, Jean. You don't love her. So when you're sitting here talking about, oh, I don't want to lose my maid. I don't want to do this. And I don't. You're killing her. Right? Mm -hmm. He's killing her. Yeah. Anybody who enables a 700 pound person who's not able to get out of the bed it's one thing if jen was in there getting her own food going to the store getting her own groceries dude i don't understand it you can watch these sick my 600 pound life episodes and you got these family members and these husbands and wives or whatever and they're going out and they're shopping and they're buying you are literally you should be held when they die they should charge you with their death mm -hmm. i'm just saying why are you going out there purchasing this kind of food you don't even have obviously a weight problem yourself right mm. what do you think i agree 100 percent. so did gene do his liquor haul lol morning sam yava and sam phil thank you for being a member for seven months he's holding back on that mm -hmm. i don't think he uh, wanted her to come home i don't think so either and he was i and, think he had another woman up in that apartment yeah. the whole time yep and if anything now he's gonna do what he can to push uh jen over the edge after they get this lawsuit money then he's gonna take her off take her I out i guarantee you it was another resident in that building who's also on some sort of disability it's mostly old people ain't it not necessarily if you're on disability and you're a single woman with no kids or a single man with no kids they put you in those old folks high rises mm -mm -mm. i happen to know somebody who's um <clears throat> oh yeah that's yep, right i forgot sure about that do. oh yeah so that was very frustrating uh, and then to try to hone in what the priority would be so get uh, a lawsuit mm -hmm. and then keep feeding jen in the meantime mm -hmm. when the money hits mm -hmm. take off with the other woman and mm -hmm. leave her to die mm -hmm. whoa that's a nice moving plan. on up to the sixth floor yeah <laughs> um, between the dance of doing that but so then yeah pt kicked in she started making progress and that other thing started happening and so that that, that, that put her back now we're into about three three weeks or so uh, so uh, the first of September, first week of September. Jesus, we're only on week um, three. There was a lot that happened during this time, so that's why I'm spending a Care lot of focus paycheck. and concentration during this first part. It was very intense. Um, and Pause. That's because she was only actually sick for the first couple of weeks, Jean, and there's mm -hmm. no excuse that you can lay blame on for the seven months that followed. Continue. Exactly. Which is worse, Jen making her dying mother crawl up the stairs or Jean mm -hmm. leaving his girlfriend for dead. I have no sympathy for um, Jen. So yeah, her making her mom crawl up the stairs. I hear the house. I was very lonely. Luna didn't care. Um, she, I think, really enjoyed just having me here all by you, herself, Tiffany. ourselves, with Moo. She don't mind Moo. 
However, she is making a lot of progress with Jennifer. It's very shocking. Uh, we've taken some pictures of her because there's been some Kodak moments of her actually hopping up on Jennifer's lap and uh, hopping up on her bed and wanting actually to have some, something to do with her. So it's actually, so that's really neat. Back on track, though. Um, I, here at the house, I was very lonely. Uh, I, I did cry quite a bit um, in the first... <laughs> it was so lonely here and I cried. <laughs> this one there you go. Hold on. <laughs> poor, poor Jean. He was left all alone without Jen while Jen was dying in the hospital. His woman, new woman, was in there. He was plowing her in uh, Jen's bed. Yeah, he was just so upset. First few weeks, and then, but then after that, I kind of got used to it. Um, but it was very dark, sad, lonely, and quiet, and just a missing soul. Now that Bullshit. persisted throughout the, the whole seven months. Yet. Just the. The missing link, the darkness, the loneliness, oh, the emptiness. Okay. However, my emotional state, my Can mental I state, got this? used to that. So, I didn't, I didn't cry as much. I just, I kind of got over it. I got used to it. However, but it was, it was pretty tough in the beginning, uh, emotionally, and and then going through all this stuff. Like, am I going to lose my woman in the very beginning because of all these different symptoms and all these, damn if you do, damn if you don't. So then PT, PT was making progress, and there's a little of this happening. And then PT was making more progress. She was making progress. She was starting to get up. She was starting to move. She was starting to. And, and then PT, another crew would come in, or, or the next day, they wouldn't get her up. They wouldn't even sit her up. And I'm just thinking to myself, um, she just sat up yesterday. She does not need any time to sit or lay or just whatever. No backtracking, because we've already been backtracking for the past three weeks, off and on, for different kinds of whatevers. So I, I, I had to tell them, this is unacceptable. We, we have to meet her where she, she is at. She was standing up. We need to get her up and continue on. Uh, then continue on with her progress. And all I was being told is that, you know, um, that they are not a, you know, a full on rehab type people. I understand that. But what I don't understand is any physical therapist, good physical therapist should know that you're going to take a person's baseline, so to speak, work on that in order to graduate them to the next baseline. So then now we have a new level of improvement, which now we have a new baseline. So you take that one, you work in order to improve to the next level. It only makes sense. It's common sense. I mean, you're not going to just do bed exercises for the rest of your life, right? So, however, anyways, very frustrating process with physical therapy in general, all the way through this entire experience has absolutely been frustrating, infuriating, uh, even when she went to the so-called skilled nursing facility. Crap. Just crap. Absolute garbage. Then why didn't you say something then? And mm -hmm. also, why didn't you step in to where is the PT was, um, oh, what's this? The TikTok. I do remember saying that. Is there a way I can share it? Hold on. If the PT, because obviously this, again, we have to remember, which they're just uh, leaving out. No uh, shocker there, right? That this was during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, there were doctor shortages, n n nurse shortages, everything. Um was messed up during that time and they're just leaving that out and I feel like that plays a big part in this story even if what they're saying is true right if Jen was refusing to sit up they can't make her and they sure as shit, shit can't pull her up he's full of words when it comes to laying the lawsuit foundation what do they even have grounds for anything though that's my question <laughs> No, I think what the deal is, is ultimately Jen ended up leaving these care facilities against medical advice. Yes. Okay. And that's, I don't know, that's really all there is to it. Let I me mean. see if I can, what does this TikTok say? Let's just listen to it. To all the females out there who think it's a good idea to flirt with a man that's in a relationship, think again. Especially the ones that say, when you break up with her, I'm the next in line. No, bitch. No. I'm the first in line. I'm the second in line. I'm the last in line. I am the fucking line. Don't be a whore. Respect a relationship and respect other women. That's all I have to say. Peace. Mm -mm -mm. That was her TikTok, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was Life by Jen's TikTok when she talked mm -hmm. about, I guess, uh, other women flirting with Jen. Online. While she was in the while she was in the mm -hmm. hospital i mean that really doesn't prove anything though uh women could have just been coming on their videos and leaving comments to Jean saying mm -hmm. why would you be with her it's the same shit we see with chantelle and which is still disgusting for the women right still it's the same women who <laughs> watch chantelle get with nodder and they're like why would you be with somebody like chantelle mm -hmm. when you could be with somebody like mm -hmm. me like fucking gross dude you want Jean? 
Like, Jean is fucking Jen. Like, why would you even want to fucking degrade yourself like that? Because, what, you think you're a step above Jen and that's a flex? I don't understand Did that you, shit. First of all, Jen, you're literally bed bound. Shut up. <laughs> the beeping in the background. Yeah, she made that from her hospital bed, dude. Look, Look at, at that the- line. <laughs> she is the fucking lunch line. Uh, everything has just kind of been just garbage. Not to say... Jen is a lot of shapes, but I would never call her a line. No shit, dude. That's some confidence. I'll give her that. Tito, for sure. Mm -hmm. Make better choices, ladies. And I 100% believe that women throw themselves at Jean just like they threw themselves at Nodder. They're the same. Like, Mm -hmm. they think, oh, if if Jen can have him, then I know I definitely can. Again, an unemployed man, not a God-blessed thing to offer. Amy P says he can't fuck anything on Jen but her folds. (laughs) That um, there hasn't been hard workers, good people with great intentions, people that are fulfilling their callings as nurses, as doctors, as physical therapists. But the but the but the whole picture as a whole has been extremely frustrating, and um, I mean, really, there's just there's really too much to 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 really even say or share through all all of this. There's not going to be one person, but but did she live though? Is she alive? She lived and there was none of this energy in any of those videos before she came home bed bound. Exactly. All these people, healthy people, healthy weights and everything that passed away having COVID. And here Jen was lucky to survive, Mm -hmm. survive being septic, survive being all these things. She survived COVID for fuck's sake. Tell me again how the hospital did you guys so wrong. Thanks, Sham. Now I can hear from Jean is Hank Hill. (laughs) (laughs) I'm dead. Thank you. What is it? L. L. L Oh, I remember this one. Elira. Is that Elira? Thank you so much for a super chat. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. God, that that would actually understand. There's a lot worse places that a lot of people have been in. I'm just saying, for me personally, this this has been extremely trying and frustrating. Um, it's been trying. There's a lot more behind that that's been trying. Just going through the entire process of watching my woman <laughs> struggle. <laughs> I bet Jen loves this. Oh, yeah. She probably tries to deal with herself while she hears uh, Jean say, my woman. <clears throat> She's got the old extender. <laughs> with certain symptoms. And then it's almost like a curse just following every step of the way it's like uh where's where's the effing blessing and where's the relief where's you know where's the silver lining how frustrating is it to see this man firing up a video to post on youtube for thousands of people to see complaining about a a, a physical therapy facility that's supposed to take care of jen and how they failed her but mister you've been living with this woman every day Going and buying her groceries every day and feeding her. You are no better than this facility that you're sitting here attacking. Well, how does it feel, Jean, to be set for us to sit here and attack you the same mm. way that you're attacking this facility and saying how they didn't help your woman get to where she needed? So, what's your excuse? I'm gonna say the the facility that Jen was in was um, understaffed, mm-hmm. over overworked, understaffed. Overworked. These people are definitely underpaid. Underpaid, yes. Jen was probably non-compliant. Mm-hmm. There's lots she of was. reasons. He admits it, I believe. As to why Jean didn't get, I mean, Jen did not get all the care that you think that she de- deserves. But what's your excuse for not helping Jen get to where she needs to be? How come it is that Jen end up over 700 pounds and you happen to call the ambulance to get her help or whatever because she went septic and mm-hmm. all this other shit? Mm-hmm. Why did you let? Why did you let that happen? How come Jen had a UTI? What was it? It was a UTI that she and she went septic. Also, she was impacted with bowel. So you're talking about all the negligence on on these facilities. But what about the negligence that led up to this, Mister Caregiver? Yeah, that's your excellent woman. point. You're supposed to be taking care of her. So while you have questions for um, the facility, we have questions for you. How, why is Jen even over 700 pounds or 600 pounds at this point? What is it that you were feeding her? What is it that you're trying to do with her? Do to her? Well, he's telling on on them. He's telling on himself and Jen right now when he just said, where's the blessing? Where's the silver lining? Uh, you mean the uh, payout at the end of this whole ordeal? Is that, is that what you're looking for? Oh, mm-mm-mm. Scam um, artist. That's right, Stacy. So back to skilled nursing. Now, now we're into month three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, 
early on. When did uh, Jean meet Jen? How long they've been together? Anybody got a, a time frame here? Any kind of a time frame here? I don't know. How much, how, how better has Jen gotten since she's met Jean? Worse and worse How much and weight worse. has she lost since she's been with Jean, right? How long has it been since Jen's actually been able to go out and purchase her own food, prepare her own food and things like that? How long has it been? Mm -hmm. Years. I don't know how long now. She, again, she was making progress, but um, they would be on their phones. And anytime that Jennifer would mention something about her life, they would be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we, we, uh, blah, 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 and talk about their lives and all that. Shh. Honestly, when people are going through a tough time, we don't give a shit about your vacations or about your kids or about who you almost really are. It may sound Ooh, selfish. Wow. Oh, wow, Gene. Aren't you just a ray of sunshine there, buddy? All their videos will be used against them in court. Agreed, 100%. I'm going to have to tap it back, Sam. Yeah, that was, We uh, got to tap wow. it back for that one. So what he's saying is, is that... um, When Jen would make small talk with the staff... They would make small talk back and talk about their lives and everything. And they didn't want to hear about that. Because why? Because all Jen's life is, is laying in bed staring at a fucking ceiling. Jealousy, wow. envy. That's why these people are mad. But um, they would be on their phones, and any time that Jennifer would mention something about her life, they would be like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, we we uh, blah, 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 and talk about their lives and all that." Honestly, when people are going through a tough time, we don't give a shit about your vacations or about your kids or about who you almost really are. It may sound selfish, but it's like there's so much that's going on in the person's in the person's mind and spirit and, and body. At least for my in my experience in those moments, I, I didn't give a Shut up, Jean. From experience, loving her TikTok, can we get a mashup of her saying, be the love, be the light, and don't be a whore for the soundboard? Yes, Trauma Dumpling. Thank you so much for the super chat. From personal experience, any time that I've been in the hospital, you know, or when I've had the kids in the hospital for anything, when those nurses come in and they make that small talk and they tell me about their kids and we exchange stories, I appreciate that mm -hmm. to get your mind off of whatever's mm -hmm. going on and whatever reason you've been in the hospital a lot. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you've had experience. Mm -hmm. What says you? It's building a rapport with you and like um, Making connecting you okay. with you on a personal level, These not just a clinician caregiver. I'm your nurse. I'm, yeah. you know. Yeah. These people, mm -hmm. they're seeing you in your worst state. Like, oh, my God, I remember having my C-section and just, you know, being a bigger girl. And mm -hmm. I got this really hot nurse coming in there. You know, it's kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. And they break the ice and they start talking about their life or yeah. whatever. And you feel more co comfortable, yeah. you know? Gee, so the nurses were so bad. They actually treated her like a normal mm -hmm. human being. Sounds like mistreatment to me. Exactly. Exactly. Small talk is always good. It always helps. But these two numb nuts wouldn't know anything about that because they literally confine themselves to that fucking apartment won't do anything mm -hmm. to get outside mm -hmm. of that cannot relate look at that still look, look at that he's look hateful. on his face he is he has he is he has how hateful he, he is does yep more than jen does yep. jen kind of lets her shit shine but you can tell with what he just said and the way he just said it like him and jen have had this conversation they are both the same mm -hmm. they are both the same shit i didn't care maybe jennifer did i'm just speaking of my own Maybe I was in a worse off shape than she was. You know, usually usually that's that that's that's the case I hear is, is is the family members worse off than the person going through the shit. And but it just seemed really selfish on their end. Getting on the phone. Yeah, he's on one point five, I think. Should I turn him down to normal I speed? I want normal speed, please. You know, it's not very often, Gene, that we get a request for uh <clears> the <throat> normal speed. Let me take it back just a little bit. Yeah. It's only a twenty three minute long video. We got all day, Gene. <laughs> They have no social skills, exactly. Usually, usually that's that that's that's the case. I hear is is, is the family members worse off than the person going through the shit. And but it just seemed really selfish on their end, yeah. getting on their phones, talking about themselves all the time. Who cares about your phone? We're working on PT. But to oh, focus right. on the right, Jane. Nurses and we're here to put in the work. And uh, whoever 
that still, I know, I spent nine entire months in the hospital in rehab after getting sick. My nurses were my lifelines to the world. They kept me looking forward. Exactly, Melissa. Thank you so much for the super chat. And that was is exactly what I'm getting ready to say. Like, to all the nurses, hospital staff, even when I was in the hospital with Raylan that time, like, the person who comes and takes the trash out, I even had a conversation with them. Like, mm -hmm. anybody I can talk to, I'm going, not, people do not, this is, this is not how people feel. Mm -mm. We want to have connections with our nurses, mm -hmm. with the people, who, even the people who deliver your food. Mm -hmm. You want to have, you know, connections with they, anything to take your mind out of the walls of that hospital. I mean, you know, somebody could see this video who works in a hospital and thinks maybe, you know, I shouldn't be in there showing mm -hmm. pictures of my new grandbaby or my new, you know, niece or nephew. Maybe, you know, no, that's not how people feel. These people are weirdos. Don't ever think that. Okay. You sharing your life with people in the hospital is appreciated to 99% of people. And you know what, though? If it were the opposite and the staff was only about, I'm here to do your PT and did not, you know, try to, you know, have conversations and small talk and yeah. relate to her on a personal level and treat her like a human being, then they'd be compl complaining about that. They were like robots. It was like being in a prison. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they, they were, were like looking, prison guards. These two were looking for anything. Mm -hmm. They don't even have anything. They have mm -hmm. not laid anything on the table where I'm like, Okay, maybe this was too much. Even the nurse, even if that story was true about that nurse mm -hmm. saying that stuff, do I think it's right? No. But do I think that a nurse is a normal human being and they have bad days too and they make mistakes too? Mm -hmm. That shit happens. But they have laid absolutely nothing out on the table to where I would be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe Jen got treated like that mm -hmm. in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Moment. Whatever, just go with the flow. Then she caught COVID and it was like, <laughs> really? It's like, that's why I wanted her to come home right after the freaking initial hospital because I was thinking, all right, you can catch anything in these places and God knows how you're gonna be treated anyways. Oh, so he's blaming the hospital for uh, Jen getting COVID. Of course. Uh huh. This is what I wanted her home to begin with. Yeah. Right, because you were taking but such great care of her. Obviously, I mean, what is she? Seven fifty. There's some kind of hope that there would be some actual professional skilled nursing and real improvement to to go on, <clears throat> with the hopes of being protected from any disease, illness, or further issues. <laughs> well, no. Nope, wow. There really wasn't. So one thing after another went on, and then she got denied. Look at him, look at him reading his script. Look yeah. at that shit. Yeah. What a bozo, uh, Jen, Jean, whatever your fucking name is. What a bozo. I mean, I can see his frustration, but I really don't. No. I really don't. I, I do not at all see his frustration. Oh, hold on. M. Shannon in the chat uh, wants to remind us all that uh, Jen refused to get vaccinated. That's a good point. Uh -huh. yeah, but you expected the, the skilled nursing facility to protect her from COVID. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now the nurses aren't professionally skilled. He probably Just brought the COVID. The other, oh, yeah. speaking of denied. Exactly. Um, Wasn't it you that was going around laying out with whores and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Going in and around, out of the facility. In and out of the liquor stores, into the uh, hospital, unvaccinated, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. But go, go ahead and tell me more about how the hospital gave her COVID, mm -hmm. uh, Jean. The hospital, there was issues. The reason why she was there for the second month, uh, there was issues with. So the first month was clouded up with symptoms and weaknesses and health issues the second month was clouded up with uh pretty much kind of the same but it led up the symptoms and the health issues she was still having it and still being monitored however we were really focusing more on we slash they on uh, as far as the social workers on releasing her and finding her a place to go there was insurance issues there was uh, bariatric issues because of her weight. There was, uh, so it was either this place is denied or this place is not equipped or this place is not, uh, is, is the insurance is not going to well, cover that she's place. Not so. compliant. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, those three places. And it just went on just like that. Bam, 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 bam. And all this is uh, nobody's fault but you and Jen's because Agreed. it's your fault and Jen's fault that she has the bariatric issues. Yes. How does she end up in this situation to begin mm -hmm. with? 
this is not a situation like you said at the beginning, Jean, where I was worried about her getting cancer or mm. some other illness. No, this is all due to her size. Mm, Nothing mm, else, mm. okay? And you have yet to take any, you being Jen's caretaker, I have not heard you yet take any responsibility for that whatsoever. Nope. So that we wait another month. And then with PT not really, you know, doing much. So then she goes in school nursing. So now back to that. So this goes on, you know, COVID. Then she, her insurance cuts her off. Then the physical therapist actually had the goal to put down on paper that she wasn't, she wasn't willing to put in the work. There it is. Oh, there it is. There we Non-compliant. go. Non-compliant. And that's why proof. they're putting so much focus and emphasis on um, she didn't get the PT she needed. She didn't get the PT. She, they didn't bring the PT. It's because it was PT who charted that she was non-compliant. Yep. So PT's pointing the finger at them, rightfully so. So they're pointing their finger back at PT. Yep, listen to this. Boy, mm-hmm. boy, 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 boy. I told y'all. I told y'all from day one, as soon as they started complaining, she was non-compliant. Love this for you. <laughs> Purpose actually had the goal to put down on paper that she wasn't she wasn't willing to put in the work. I think he meant gall, not goal. Gall as an audacity. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. That she wasn't, she wasn't willing to put in the work. Look, oh my God. It's like, did I just fuck up? Did I just say that? Did I just tell on myself? Mm-hmm. Look at that still, would you? That still says a million mm-hmm. words. Mm-mm-mm. There is not a physical therapist out there or a physical therapist assistant who is uh, employed, especially in rehab, uh, like inpatient rehab facilities out there, who um, is not committed to their job. You know what I mean? Like they're well, not just going. They, what would be the point? Exactly. They're not just going to go in there and have this 700 pound patient assigned to them and then just be like, ah, I know I'm not going to bother and I'm just going to charge that they're not compliant. No. You want me to believe that the physical therapist is lying on somebody who refuses to do anything about their condition and let themselves get to over 700 pounds? Exactly. For oh, yeah. What? Totally don't believe them. You know, totally don't. Whatever. The hell? She was putting in the work and putting forth effort. Don't believe you. What is with these girls and feeling like the world must accommodate them? The world is not built for someone who weighs 700 pounds. Do they understand how expensive bariatric equipment Mm -hmm. is? F off. Pretty when you're drunk. Agreed 100%. Thank you for the super chat. That's exactly what it is. They feel entitled. Every person that we watch on the My 600 Pound mm-hmm. Life, on, you know, just the YouTube train wrecks that is super morbidly obese, like we're talking the 500 and up club, mm-hmm. they're entitled. Mm-hmm. They feel like they're owed something. They feel like that they're, they believe that they are um, disabled and that they're a protected class. And there's nothing wrong with the size of them. It's everybody else that's the problem. Mm-hmm desire she had pain again just like she did at the hospital and she had covid which exaggerated everything else i think gene might have had a few before he made this video i'm starting to hear some slurring yep i really do yep had to give him some um courage to get up here and make this video because he knew he was about to lie through his teeth weakness i mean you name it what are all the covid symptoms so that was frustrating. And I, 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 I corrected them. I don't know if they corrected on their little paper. Probably not. However, uh, so then we just sit there. We sit there just camping out, having a good time. I guess after a while, we kind of got Come used to it. drunk. Kind of waiting around on them to do something. He didn't just have a few. He's drunk making this video. Mm-hmm. Can you not tell? He's mm-hmm. definitely drunk. Well, you don't ever do that. 
Don't ever wait for somebody else to come around because they never do. Nobody does. Nobody cares. Nobody cares in this life. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares except numero uno. And if you have a good mate, you're a mate. Other than that, brothers, sisters, pff, God, hell, I don't even know where he is. She, he, she, whatever the hell. Nobody cares. You're Literally. You don't even have to be 700 pounds to be entitled. For real, because this motherfucker is definitely severely entitled. We saw and heard none of this energy at the time that it was supposedly going on. They made those little videos, doing great, mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. good. Yeah. You know what's weird, though, is that, how old is Gene? Does anybody know how Gene, I'm, I'm going to say he's in his 40s. Mm -hmm. He seems healthy. Mm -hmm. He seems like he's, you know, is actively uh, fit. He can walk. I think he has had a job before. I don't understand this mentality where people just expect like some miracle. They just sit around and wait. It's almost like playing the lottery. Like you're instead of thinking about ways to make your life better or how to make money and everything, you're just waiting. Like there's a difference between a lot of people just, I'm, it's going to happen one day. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to work this dead end job or not work at all and just keep playing the lottery. And one day it's going to happen, but put no effort into getting there besides playing the lottery. Right. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the mentality that he has. He's just sitting in this fucking dump of an apartment with Jen laid up, perfectly capable to go out and change his life and have the life that he wants. But he, instead he's asking, I don't even know where God is at this time. I don't know where uh, my family is. You, can, you can't you can depend on nobody. No, you got to make it happen and do it yourself. I took an oath to care for all as RN. Don't yell and curse me that you won't participate in care. Your actions are charted and taken into account. Exactly. Thank you so much for the super chat. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We waited around and waited around for them to do something and they never did anything. Do something for yourself. My God. I'm going to have to take action. So anyways, fine. He is not wrong. He is not wrong. Nobody cares about you. Only you do for yourself. Look at that still. Look Whoa, at that. Wow. But you know what, though? That's not true. Because if if, if the system didn't care, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be living in this apartment. Mm -hmm. If the system didn't care, they wouldn't be getting all this free health care. Mm -hmm. If the system didn't care, they wouldn't have food on their fucking table every day. If the system didn't care, they wouldn't be able to make these grocery haul videos that they make all the time. How about a little bit of fucking grace? How about just say, you know what? I'm a healthy man. I don't even have to go to work and I have all these blessings. Thank you, God. But no, where's God? Oh no, where's my family? You can only depend on yourself. I can't fucking tell. I can't tell. Tell the system thank you because the system obviously cares. And why was he Emily. not why was he not on the phone or in, at the nurse's station at breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Hey, PT hasn't been by yet today. Hey, PT hasn't been by yet today. And then when PT did come by, Jean, why weren't you? Uh, so, uh, you know, I realize it's, you know, you're having a hard time getting to her. So can you show us some exercises that we can do every day that I can and help I'll her do it with? Myself. Yeah. Teach me what I need to do mm -hmm. with her. You know, mm -hmm. I know she's being difficult for you all, but tell me and I'm going to make sure she gets it done. And you know what? That's exactly what you would do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're going to do this shit. You're going to get out of here mm -hmm. because you're not going to be a burden to this fucking hospital because they got patients out there that want to, you know, work the program and make it happen and recover and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what you did when I had COVID. You got in touch with <laughs> one of our friends who's a nurse. Yeah. What do I need to do to make sure she don't die? And you did. Had my ass up out of that bed every day. Mm -hmm. Walked me outside. In the freezing cold. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You make it happen, and that's what real partners do, Gene. Mm -hmm. They don't suck off mm -hmm. the system and then point the finger and blame everybody fucking else, man. Mm -hmm. I was like, where, where is somebody? Call the, call the uh, social worker. Where are we at with this? Can we in reinstate PT? Oh, they got kicked off of the PT, huh? Mm -hmm. Can we reinstate? Let's me know that they got the boot. That's what they mean when they said the insurance dropped her. The insurance uh, non compliance. Didn't, yeah, they, so they weren't compliant. So why can they? Medicaid's not going to continue to pay for physical therapy if well, you're not doing it. And that's the thing with Jen. He just thinks they have endless amount of mm -hmm. money just to throw at somebody who doesn't want to give a fuck. You know, that's what they're used to. Mm -hmm. We'll look into that. Mocking the social worker, mocking the nurses, mocking the doctors. How is this video helping you all in any way, shape, or form? Okay, good. Good, thank you. Of course, being polite. And, um, 
we wait a whole other week just waiting. Uh, nothing. And then, I, I don't know if we fell asleep or something, but we got used to me going up there and enjoying each other's company. And she would do you know some bed exercises. We'd work on her, her own self. And then, but uh, we wanted more help, more skilled nursing help. That's the whole reason why we're there. We're not there for the free food, even though the food. Was you know, it's weird how you can find YouTube, how you're on YouTube and you know YouTube exists, but you can't use YouTube to figure out the kind of exercises mm -hmm. that you can do in a hospital bed. Go ahead and pull your phone up and look uh, up PT exercises that you can do while bed bound. See if you can find anything mm -hmm. over there. It was just top notch. The care was just, I mean, I'm telling you people, if you've ever been at a skilled nursing facility, skip the cruise ship, go straight to the skilled nursing. So <clears throat> I don't know what else to say about all this. Finally, at some point, I know Jennifer mentioned this. She was like, a social worker came in and called him again after uh, months and months and months and months and months. And is like, hey, uh, we gonna do something about going home? And then she was like, oh, you wanna go home? No, we're just here on vacation. Yeah, she has a life. We're, we were a part of council here. Uh, we have dreams, plans. We we're, we were a part of council here. I'd love to hear about those dreams and those plans, uh, Jean. Uh, we Let's see here. <clears throat> Inpatient in-bed exercises. Proper sleeping positions for the bedridden and able-bodied. Uh, orthopedic rehabilitation bed exercises. Changing and absorbent brief for a bed bound patient uh, level one leg exercises beginner how to turn and position a bed bound patient moving a patient up in bed with one person assist bed mobility best stroke rehab approach getting out of bed and setting balance bed exercises for bed bound people part two upper body so i'd probably start with that one <laughs> Just with a simple search, it took Sam less than, I don't know, uh, 30 seconds to find all these videos. Why didn't you use YouTube to your advantage, Jean? How come? How come? What says you? She has no life. She has no plans. She can't live independently. Get the fuck out of here. We have dreams, plans. We, we, we're, we're, we're trying our damnedest to, to uh, be sober and to live a sober. What do you mean, we? What? What's that? What? What? What is that? You cannot bill for services not done. Exactly, Angie. Let's listen to this again, because I don't think that Jean, I mean that Jen, has a problem with any kind of substance abuse. Part of council here. Uh, we have dreams, plans. We we we're we're, we're trying our damnedest to to uh, be sober and to live a sober life and that includes food as well and uh, be, be, be becoming our better self and this right here is the entire problem thank you for pointing that out is because you all enable each other and mm -hmm. i've seen this before on 600 pound life and i keep going back and forth because there's so many things i hear in this video that reminds me of different episodes and i can remember watching like specifically, there was this man who was a healthy weight, but he was an alcoholic and she was severely obese and they would enable each other. And when he got to have beer and drinks and mm -hmm. she could eat whatever she want. So the cycle never stopped. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing here with Jean and Jen. Well, Jean, you know, and, and it's probably back and forth. Jen's probably like, well, how about you go get you a six pack tonight and um, I'm going to have like McDonald's or something like that, you know? Whatever, and then and it's probably you know Gene too. How about you? You know you have some pizza tonight, and I'll have you know some gin or something like mm -hmm. that. Like whatever. That right there is the problem. They are enabling each other, and you keep saying how you're such a great partner, mm -hmm. but yet you are enabling Jen because she is enabling you. So when does it stop? Mm -hmm. When does the cycle break? When Jen dies. So when Jen dies, so Jen is gonna have to lose her life. Mm -hmm. Or it could be Jean, which it'll be Jen before Jean, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. then, and then what? Jean goes on and finds another target, another person to enable his behavior. And that just, it, the person just never gets better. There are no dreams. There are no goals that you're going to meet. 
Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine. Yeah, he's one of those guys, the type to think they know better and speak as if they have some kind of authority, but they're just out of touch, pathetic inside. Gene, Mr. and his mom's attic, <laughs> Rev, all the same breed. Agreed. Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine. Thanks so much for a super chat. We appreciate you. Who do you think you are? They're both addicts. They're both enabling each other. There's no end to this mess. And they're all pointing the finger at everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. It's not Jen's fault. It's society's fault because they won't help us. Now, when it comes down to that, yeah, nobody's going to help you. You got to help yourself. Whether you got a problem with drinking, a problem with food, a problem with drugs, nobody can do the work for you. You got to do it. Hold on. Jules Baby Rock says there are weekly care plan meetings in skilled nursing facilities. And with Jen's multiple issues, she was probably on the weekly roster. Jean could have attended those meetings if he felt she wasn't getting proper care. Absolutely right. The families oh. are able to be in those meetings. Wow. Mm -mm. They want the family. Getting out of this, this yeah. housing. They want feedback. Mm -hmm. All hospitals, all facilities. Like well, that. they want everybody on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. To avoid situations like this. Exactly unit um etc etc so i they're they're really the system is just broke for one two it's a business they're using it for money three there's a lot of assholes there that really don't want to be there they're just there for a paycheck uh, wow number one it's a business using it for money uh your woman has medicaid they're probably listen I, I did medical billing for a long long time and I'll tell you what, here's just an example. I build for a group of radiologists. They charge $1,300 to read an MRI. You know how much they pay? Medicaid pays that thir on that $1,300 bill, $7.42. Mm. That's the exchange rate for Medicaid. Mm. Who made okay. that cost? D the provider. Exactly. The facility. Wow. And then uh, what... <laughs> what what did he just say about the uh, the staff and the doctors and, and the nurses and the aides? disrespectful very disrespectful very very Granted. even if you had all these issues file your complaint and move on mm -hmm. don't come online and say all this bullshit it, there are great people and i definitely want to say thank you thank you thank you for your service but i know that you're in a basically a broken rough system in a business greedy system that is sluggish and slow, and then you got this COVID now that is just screwing it all up even more, making it more sluggish and slow. And um, you know what your problem is, Gene? You need something to do. You need some <laughs> kind of I don't know job, hobby, go outside, walk the cats. I don't know, but you <clears throat> got too much time on your hands sitting on here. You done made a whole fucking script that you're reading off of your little. I don't know if you got a a, a little uh, what are they called? billboard thing over there if you got a notebook i don't know get a hobby get a job wash cars anything but this so i really feel sorry for you guys the good ones out there just thank you doctors nurses pt guys social workers there's a lot of a lot of awesome guys um, out there this is what you would call manipulation because uh i think it's manipulation where he's literally dog walked nurses doctors social workers um all the facility workers and everything and talked about how they didn't get proper care, how they got treated uh, like shit, how they got lost in the system. And then at the end of the video, he's like, Oh yeah, but I'm, but, but you good doctors and you good mm -hmm. nurses and everything, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I applaud you and you, you all are doing a great job. He's trying to manipulate the audience. He's trying to make it like, mm -hmm. Oh, well I'm only talking bad about the bad ones, but don't forget to give, you know, props to the good ones. Mm -hmm. We see right through you, uh, Gene. And gals. So, I don't know. That's pretty much it in a nutshell on my end. It's been infuriating and frustrating, and um, I'm proud of Jennifer very much for her doing what she's doing. <laughs> From the beyond. Oh, we knew you were there listening. <laughs> we knew you were there listening. Have it back. What would you say? Jean, prop up your ego. Is she giving you a little extra something tonight? What's going on there? <laughs> Did she promise you liquor? <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Hold on. Should I slow mo or just try to listen to it? I'm trying to listen to it first. I didn't okay. hear what she said. In a nutshell, on my end, it's been infuriating and frustrating, and um, I'm proud of Jennifer very much for her doing what she's doing. I can't catch it. I can't catch it. We're not going to catch it in slow mo neither. Doing. 
But we're happy, happy with, with what, what we, we have, have now. now. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. You just couldn't fucking help yourself, could you, Jen? No, she wanted to let everybody know that she is proud of her man for sticking up for her. Look at this piece of work right here. And Jennifer says, we're, we are happy with what we have now. Uh, amen to that. She's back home, so. and we're You shouldn't be happy with what you have now. You should be very fucking grateful. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing in this apartment that you've had to work to earn. Mm -mm. It's all been handed to you. Mm -hmm. Even the clothes on your fucking back has been somehow gifted to you. Don't say that you're happy with it. Be grateful for it. And thank whoever it is that you owe that to. She's making more progress than she has in since, I don't know, ever. No. Oh, here God, she here goes. She here she is. Do they make money on YouTube? DG. Um, I have YouTube premium, so I'm going to assume that they have ads. You know, that's the point. Like, when you're a creator, and hell, she's got 27,000 yeah, subscribers. Monetized. She hasn't put out a whole lot of content, though. I would imagine, but she's starting to. I would imagine that she's definitely what um, music making like. some money. And she should. I mean, if anything, that, and that right there is a great example. That's a good question, DG. Because she absolutely, 100%, is able to make these videos, mm -hmm. even Jean, and this be a source of income mm -hmm. where they can take some of the load off of the state mm -hmm. or whatever. And she probably could still get her Medicaid or whatever. You know, she could probably still even live in this apartment because I don't think she makes a shit ton of money. Or put it in Jean's name. But <laughs> whatever, whatever <laughs> they need to do. But they don't even want to do the bare minimum. No. Well, here lately they've started to upload videos, but they get really lazy about it and they'll disappear Let's see, 7.2, 11K, 8K, 10K, 18K. They're making some kind of, you know, they're just starting again. So not a whole lot, but. Both I was just looking at the their videos while you were scrolling through. Not a single video while they were going through this whole ordeal about, you know. Yeah. Being lost in the broken sluggish system. Yeah, exactly. Let me see. I think no, it's... my PT dropped me or, you know, insurance problems. Let me show you None all our uh, spoiled baby before we finish the video. He, he just he just likes to lay by his mother, okay? He's a loaf. He is a loaf. Look at that, would ya? That's a lot to love, That's people. That's at her feet at all times. Yeah, he stays right next to me. If I'm mm -hmm. in my office, he stays underneath mm -hmm. my feet. If I go into the bedroom, he mm -hmm. follows us into the bedroom. In the if, kitchen. If I go in the kitchen to cook, he sets up on top of the trash can mm -hmm. and literally meow. Mm -hmm. Wants me to pet him and love on him while I'm cooking. He is absolutely a rotten ass cat. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted to uh, give a little palate cleanser there. <laughs> okay, Jen, tell us how much you adored uh, Gene's video. And he, man, he really pushed y'all's point through, didn't he? <laughs> you know, <laughs> she was lost in the system, guys. Mm -hmm. Even even Gene says so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if Gene says it, it, must be true. Hold on. Pause. Uh, why, once again, are you uh, filming laying on your back in bed if you uh, are now mobile? And if you're healed. Yeah. He is just a boy. He's his mother's. He's his mother's son. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Look, he's right here. He moved. Mm -hmm. I was wondering. He's under the desk now. Mm -hmm. He's so cute, man. Why didn't he keep her channel going to make money, that lazy ass? DG, he could have literally made a killing. Mm-hmm doing videos on Jen and her experience in the hospital. And even mm -hmm. to tell the stories that these two claims happened, mm -hmm. people would have tuned in to, uh, you know what? Our lady Chantel, perpetual patoon, you watch yourself. He's humongous. He is a fat ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They could have pumped out a video every day. He could have. Yeah. Even, mm -hmm. even Jen laying mm -hmm. in bed with nothing absolutely to do. Mm -hmm. Edit a video. She can't help herself. He moved. Yeah. He moved underneath my desk. Why I don't know why he's so he he is a little bit big. I wouldn't say that he's like super fat. We don't overfeed him. He gets a bowl of kibble a day. Um, you're lying. <laughs> what do you mean I'm lying? He is super fat. He gets two bowls of kibble a day. They get refilled. No, listen. They didn't listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> That's not fair, Sam. <laughs> okay. The other cats eat the kibble too. Okay. The other cats do eat the kibble mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he don't eat nothing. You know what? Why don't you worry about your own cats? We, you know what? I think we should put a camera in there. For real. And see. Oh, I need to worry about my own cats. as a Who said that? My... I'm blocking them. <laughs> Who said it? <laughs> we Seriously, we should put a camera in there and keep track of... Uh... It was our lady shit. Tell no, it wasn't. It was somebody uh, else. And I'm looking. She, she's dead ass serious. You guys, she's, she's mad. 
I but I think we need to put a kitty cam in there. So we can see just how many times he's a big Max breed is of taking pets. his fat ass to whatever, that kibble bowl. You know, whatever breed he is, he's super. Um, you are the cat's godmother. <laughs> he's just a big breed of a cat. I can't find the motherfucker who said that. Don't he's not worry. that big. He only gets fed once a day, one bowl of kibble, as instructed. Mm-mm. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Fuck. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> so I gave the. Does he play a lot? Yes, Emily. He's constantly playing with our other cat, Paul, who doesn't have a weight problem, but eats everything. And you know what? Mm-hmm. That's I can relate, okay? <laughs> yeah, can for relate. real. Literally, Paul is constantly hitting us up for meat sticks mm-hmm. and treats, mm-hmm. and he eats Fancy Feast. Mm-hmm. He eats the dry kibble. Mm-hmm. He eats the Fancy Feast little chocolate little bar mm-hmm. snacks, okay? Mm-hmm. And he is just, just a fit little kitty, okay? Mm-hmm. Lean, trim, slim. Mm-hmm. Just a good looking cat. Yep. But poor poor Max here, who is bullied not only by you, by our audience, I'm not. has one bowl of kibble a day. And people yeah. want to know what it is that we're feeding he him eats and why no he's treats. so overweight. Yeah, he eats no treats. He doesn't touch the fancy feast. Nope. And you should see, because Paul still fucks with them. <laughs> when they're like chasing each other around, playing around, Paul darts under the couch. And poor because Max can cannot fit. fit under there anymore. Yeah, but yeah, he's very, very, very playful. It's the fur, yeah, but he's pleasantly plump. I mm-hmm. think so too, Payday. He's just a big breed of cat, <laughs> and I seriously think that's what it is, okay? <laughs> Knock twice if you need have help. You, okay, yeah, I'm in who trouble. Goes, who goes to the feeder supply? It's have you big ever, boned. Listen, have you ever went to the feeder supply? No other people, like other places, not... The crap, hold on. I think it. it's probably delivery. Not just here in Indiana. Like, they have feeder supplies everywhere. I definitely, like those cats, like, what are they called? Like, the, the store cat or whatever? Yeah. Bodega cat. The bodega cats. They're always big cats. They're big breed cats. Okay, can we carry on with Jen? Did you get my package? Yeah. What you know it? what's in there? No. Bring it to me. <laughs> oh no, those are my shirts. Damn it. You oh, know what no. they're supposed to? Oh no, it's Good not. Part. Hold on, guys. We got a package. It's all beat up. Oh, those are the. <laughs> Speaking of fat, motherfucker. <laughs> Take a picture. Hold on, guys. <laughs> you can't. You, you got to see what the shit that I got in the mail. Stop lazy shaming. <laughs> Max is definitely not lazy. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Tractor sleeps. Supply and Feeder Supply. Oh, no. Feeder Supply is a pet store. Feeder Supply is a pet store. Tractor yeah. Supply does not have a cat. Um, they, they don't have a cat in their store. Hold on. Let me put this picture up here. <laughs> it's all beat up. I can't believe it. Let's see. Do the air Feeder Supply sounds like the place where fatties get their funnels or gravy. No, Feeder Supply yeah. is. It's just a pet store. It's a pet store, and they a lot of times they have kittens in the back. It's no different than, like, a pet smart. Yeah, and they have the kittens in the back are from, like, um, local shelters and stuff. Yeah. Like, the shelters will give them so many cats. And, you know, people come there and buy the cat food. They find their way to the back, kind of like what happened with, um, um, how did we end up at the feeder supply? Because we did not know that they had cats when we first went, remember? There uh, had to be a reason. We were at the feeder supply getting the supplies to ship Asher off to California. <gasps> That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went there to get uh, Asher stuff. This is what we just got in the mail, guys. Okay, <laughs> let me explain. <laughs> we're so excited. <laughs> so we're constantly making tacos, right? Like tacos is just it's just a winner around here. The we kids love, love tacos, it. Yeah. We love it, right? It's easy. We don't use the shells. We'll get these little bitty street taco. Um, street taco shells, yeah. They're not shells. They're um, they're flour tortillas. Tortillas, mm-hmm. right? Well, and it takes me forever because I make everybody's plate, mm-hmm. Sam's included. <laughs> she does. So it literally takes me forever. I got to hold this damn, and I heat up the tortilla. Mm-hmm. I like, you know, make mm-hmm. it crisp or whatever. So it's hot in my hand. I'm literally got to go to the stove, to the vegetables, holding it in my and hand. And we all eat like three or four. Yeah, damn. And the time I even get to mine, these motherfuckers are already done. So mm-hmm. I looked on Amazon to see if they had some holders. So I'm pretty sure I can just stick to like the tortilla shell in there mm-hmm. and it'll be so much easier. I can just mm-hmm. fill them up and then, you know, it doesn't save so much time. Yeah. It's a great investment. It was $10 off the Amazon. Okay. You have taco holders too. Taco plates are also amazing. Mm-hmm. See, I'm not alone. They work great. Thank you so much. Hold right. on. Anna says my late Tom cat was 11 kilograms, 22 pounds and not fat at all. He was a muscular, gentle giant. Even took his warming meds when I just told him, you need to eat these pills. Oh, and put them in his food bowl. Yeah, Max, is, they're they're all good. They're all good boys and girls. They are good. We have very good cats. I cannot complain, okay? Mm-hmm. You're getting taco ho- ho- holders? Yes. I think it was a great idea. Mm-hmm. 
taco night is my family's favorite night. And mm-hmm. you know, tacos Ours aren't too. really that unhealthy. You know no, what I mean? They're not. If you add together the calories from the um the shells or whatever mm-hmm. and don't use a whole bunch of taco seasoning with the sodium mm-hmm. and stuff. I used to use ground turkey too. Ground turkey is good. I mean, heck yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, but I have two orange tabbies and they're just built big Mm -hmm. big cat mamas unite agreed i just think he's a big boy that's just the way he's built yeah he is he's he's not yeah imagine if he was skinny how ugly he would be well yeah and he's not fat because like his head is proportionate his legs are proportionate you know like a fat cat so they got the big fat body with the little legs little head no he just he is he's just a big breed cat i just like to give him shit because i can Mm -hmm. anyways let's finish the damn video enough cat talk Mm -hmm. phone to gene so he could finish up and then i forgot what we were doing or she has to have the last word. I have to have the last word. Uh, he don't like you, everybody Jen. everybody knows how mean I am, especially to Jean. You should have left this part I out. I ain't gonna say nothing. I, He's fucking drunk. Yep. Take it back. He's drunk, dude. He's drunk, drunk. Can we just Should talk we? about cats instead of listening to Jen? <laughs> Thank you, Sazanka, for the super chat. I never thought I'd see the day where I just want to sit around and talk about cats. Let's take it back. Listen, guys. The dude is drunk. You cannot tell me any different. Mm-mm-mm. Not cool. How mean I am, especially to Jean. I ain't gonna say nothing. I am mm-hmm. drunk, drunk. I'm taking it back again. This kind of life that you all want to live, you go ahead, but leave the doctors and the nurses in the care facilities out of it man angela tattoo says see they've been fighting more now that she's home yeah mm-hmm. what do you think that jen got to eat since jean got the drink uh celestial cats yes we have a discord yeah we have a Discord. funny are you here Bunny. can we get a discord link in the chat please she-ra. <laughs> she-ra thank you how mean i am especially to jean I ain't gonna say nothing. I, I was waiting for something, but like he just Shh, totally lit, dude. I couldn't imagine Mm-mm-mm. because you know, I mean, even honestly, I'm look. I'm gonna be honest. No matter what Jen has done or whatever, like I feel sorry for anybody who has to live with an alcoholic. I've lived with several alcoholics before. The lifestyle is chaotic. It's unnerving. You know, it, it's it's all kinds of bad stuff. So I got. I mean, I feel her. I feel sorry for her a little bit on that. Dubs TV, are we planning on doing any more Cali content? Absolutely not. Hell no, what for? Yeah, there's, dude, really, there's nothing else to talk about. Honestly, she just makes herself look stupid, and none of those people even have the balls to go over there and tell her what she needs to do with herself. Mm -hmm. They're just watching her unravel. It's insane to me. Mm -hmm. Those people do not, I will say it again, those people do not support her. They are using her. And they don't care if she destroys her channel in the meantime. Well, and it was never about going back and forth with her. No. It no. was about uh, the actions. That was yeah. it. That was it. There was nothing else to it. Like there's nothing else really to nothing say. Nothing else to be said. Nikki M is also here. Uh, if we get a link to the Discord in the chat, that'd be great. Jen's house, that extra large cheese pizza. Agreed. Didn't say anything. I was waiting for like some kind of something, um, like an SOS from the background. <laughs> right. Save me. Um. So anyhow, that's the wrap up of all of my experiences being in Thank the you, skilled nursing Thank in the you, hospital it was just a bad experience luckily though moving forward um it's kind of hard to forget all that because i remember all the wasted time but it is good to look forward to what the future holds like i said i've made more progress in three weeks than i did in months there so that's encouraging um, I'm not giving up. I've lost a considerable amount of weight. Um, like I said in the opening clip, the shirt I'm wearing is now. We don't care about your shirt size and how baggy it is. H- how about the numbers, uh, Jen? What are your numbers? What are your before and after numbers? We don't care about how you can fit in your wheelchair now and how this shirt's baggy on you. Let's talk numbers. Dude, you're still laying down. Yeah, exactly. You're you not couldn't even... film this short little clip to wrap it up sitting up? Mm-hmm considerably big on me um i have clothes now that i've never got to wear because i always ordered the biggest size and they just didn't fit so i just didn't wear them or i wore them maybe once and then never wore them again because they were so tight they were uncomfortable um so that's encouraging too 
it's just, I, I feel positive and, uh, I guess there was a reason, a learning experience. There's a reason for everything. I don't know why, but for some reason I needed to learn this lesson that I'm capable, I'm strong, and I don't need, I need to speak for myself and not just assume that everybody else is going to know what's best for me. Took me a lot longer than usually than most people, but at least I learned the lesson and I'm doing better. So I'll have more videos, not about this subject, but more videos on the subject of progress and moving forward, um, of getting up and walking and pivoting and weight loss. Thank you, Marcia, for being a member for eight months. We appreciate you. And I have a feeling do you think you are? that oh, Jen over here is lying, and I think she's going to beat this dead horse for quite a while, yes, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Especially and because they're getting so much shit in the comments, and they yeah. can't help themselves but to respond, go back and forth like uh, uh, some other people we know. Yeah, no shit. And all of that stuff, I'm going to talk about my medications and my other medical issues, but no more about my medical debacle my skilled nursing stay it's i'm done now and i have said what i had to say and yeah, you need I to thank be you done. all for listening and thank you for being here and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone so <laughs> i think it was our lady she had tell us that her face is shaped like the first pancake of the batch <laughs> i'm dead uh, that's what it is hey I, jen bren I, I mean i don't know dude i just think that's just whole mess is just sad it's all uh, Jen, Gene wants people to think that he really cares about his woman, right? I think he's making these videos for mm -hmm. whatever reason. I don't know what their end goal is. I haven't figured that out. If they're really going to do a lawsuit or they just want to come on YouTube and sad fish maybe and people feel sorry for them and send them gifts or what. I don't know. I think you're right. She just needed something to talk about. She mm -hmm. certainly Content. couldn't talk about how her experience and her stay was a success because she came home bedridden flat on her back you know she's not even scooting around in a wheelchair anymore so of course they had to point the finger of blame but you know what's crazy what i found absolutely insane is that they don't realize the amount of views that they would get to be real and be raw and show mm -hmm. jen trying to make progress and like actually film her trying to get up out of bed actually filming the pt mm -hmm. actually the people actually seeing progress instead of just lying to people saying from the neck up mo oh, my shirt's just huge you should mm -hmm. see how you know my clothes fit me now people don't want to hear it mm -hmm. they want to see that shit other and if they can't see it they're just gonna call you a lying ass mm -hmm. clown you know and, and she sat up for all of a couple minutes which by the way she wasn't even sitting up on her own there was a wedge behind her propping her up mm -hmm. jean's knuckles in that thumbnail are kind of scary they are they look they? like dead skin they could really honestly make a living off of their channel probably get out of that damn apartment that they're in like dude Jean, jen does not have cancer everything about her is fixable mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the fucking insane about it everything about her situation is fixable but but if, when you look at her you think this is where she's gonna die this mm -hmm. is gonna be the end this is the end story we're watching the end of life by jen mm -hmm. because that's the way she sets it but in all reality if she really wanted to do it she could film herself the progress dude people would eat that have you ever watched the fitness community i don't know if you've ever looked into like weight loss videos no and, i have uh -huh. it's a big big community they 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 love that shit they love to see somebody who's obese or severely obese actually do the work and put in the time have the weight loss they love that shit like you you talking about the numbers over here the numbers over there you're talking about triple quadruple. i know what you mean i haven't watched it on youtube but on tiktok i love those videos yeah yeah the yeah and i'm telling you like she could literally change her whole life by doing that but they won't those ones where they go can we skip to the good part and then all of a sudden they're skinny yeah <laughs> yeah but and then but you actually get to see all of it like yeah, the work yeah. and it inspires people and mm -hmm, people you know mm -hmm. follow them and instead of getting all this hate and you know criticism they would actually be getting a lot of praise and oh you can do it and this and that but they won't they'll never do it they could literally change their life buy them a home dude it's very fucking possible i know you mm -hmm. all think i'm just talking shit there's money on youtube mm -hmm. and especially 
with the fitness communities and the weight loss communities and things like that. Being a train wreck, not so much because when you're a train wreck like Chantel, how she brags about the money that she makes, I mean, look, mm -hmm. she's on her way out, mm -hmm. to be honest. And the same thing with Jen. I'm just saying. Yeah, people love success stories. They yeah. do. They do. Is that Chantel six months in the future pick? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what to say about Chantel six months. I really don't. I can't even try to even predict it. I don't know where we're going to be with Chantel in six months, maybe in the same cycle that we are right now. Who knows? Yeah, but it's Max's gene. <laughs> Shut up, Tracy. You're going to get blocked. Yeah. All right. Well, it's 1030. We're going to go get off here, finish our Saturday, do some laundry, do some bullshit. And who knows? what the day has in store for us lots you, of fun things yes are you gonna go live later do you yeah. have any plans yeah sure why not i never have plans for sam like she just whenever she feels like going live or doing a video it's just she just does it you know i saw so i don't never know when to talk about it or whatever you know you don't yeah. have a certain slot or a time i know and i keep or, saying i'm gonna make a schedule and then i don't yeah she'll get there like look how long it took me to actually get on a schedule i remember mm. thinking about it like when i two three years ago when i first was doing reaction channels and then they went from like reaction videos to, to live streams and everything and i was watching it had nothing to do with it was honestly it was in the music community it was in like um a completely different community and this guy was during covid like when covid first started at the very beginning of it and he was doing this morning show and i love the format of it i was like that's what i want to do mm -hmm. for my community mm -hmm. you know and that's when I fucking, z you know, zoned in for the, the morning spot. And I love it. Like, I love the morning show. And I used to watch The Breakfast, The Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. the 105, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, that New York. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They have a YouTube channel. I used to listen to that every morning. They started at, like, 6 o'clock, and it was the morning show. And I was like, I want to do that one day. And here we are. You know, it might not be as big as that, but you never know what this could. Right now, we're just talking about the fatties. But who knows in two years, three years. Yeah. I plan to still be doing this. You've come this. a long way, fatty. You know what? You just call me fat. Mm. Don't talk to me. We always call each other fatty. Who knows where we'll be in two and three more years, you know? Boy, I'm in trouble, guys. <laughs> Shut up, fatty. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy your day. We will see you probably Monday. Maybe Sam's going to go live later yes. on today. Go sub up her channel if you have not. What's mm. the name of your channel? Tell the people. It's my name, Sam Tuffler. Yes. And I just dropped a uh, Amberlynn compilation video. It's yesterday. a good one, guys. You're going to want to go watch that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It shows uh, uh, that. Eating chicken sausage for uh, 10 minutes straight. It's great. Also, <laughs> yeah. also, we catch her lying uh, red handed about how, oh, my psychiatrist says I sh it's okay for me to do mukbangs because when I eat on camera, I eat slower. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. go watch it. Yeah, it's a good one. You like the Breakfast Club? Me too. Charlemagne has always been my favorite. DJ Envy. Not too big of a fan of Angela Angela Yee I think her name is I mean she's cool she's okay but I really like Charlemagne anyways guys we'll see you all probably Monday later on on mm -hmm. Sam's channel mm -hmm. y'all have a good day see you later Bye, guys, guys. Bye.